I wanted to put together a little setup and how to play video for Cristallo. Cristallo is a solo game. It's a puzzly sort of abstract brain burner. Uh, it's really, really simple to learn. So hopefully this won't take too long to show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I've, well, I've already done it. I've got my creatures set up here at the top. Um, Firefox, Phoenix, Unicorn, Ice Wolf, Seahorse, and Fairy. You don't have to do them in that order. That's just the order that I like. Um, but you can obviously put them in any order. Over here, I've got my um, dragon cards. I can pick them up. Um, so there's your black dragon. And that is our villain that we'll be trying to defeat in phase two of the game if we make it through phase one. So the first thing I'm going to do after setting all those aside is I'm going to shuffle my cavern cards. I'm going to try to shuffle my cavern cards. There we go. Okay, so um, then I'm going to deal off the top nine cards. And those are going to be used to um, play our dragon round, and we're hopefully going to have a few left over from our first phase of the game so that we can add to that pile. Um, the more cards that you have going into the dragon round, um, the better. I guess I'll just start, um, start play and then I'll kind of explain how the crystal sets work as we go. So the first thing you do is just lay down a card in the middle of your play area, uh, or anywhere you like really, but the middle is a good place to start. Um, and then, so these are, um, so I should point this out, these are your crystals on the card, and these are orbs. And the orbs correspond to ones that are on the creatures. Okay, so that's crystals and orbs. Um, so I'm going to pull my second card, and what I'm going to do is place one of these crystals next to, adjacent to, either one of the crystals on this card. So I can play any crystal next to any crystal and in pretty much any position. So I can do that, I can do that, that, that. You get the idea. There's pretty much no wrong answer. The only thing you can't do is play it, for example, next to an orb like that where there's no other crystal um, to play it next to. So let's just say we're going to do it like this. I'm going to play that single orange crystal next to that uh, triple purple crystal. I'm going to draw another card. Now, if I want to complete this set, um, what I'm looking for is a double red crystal because I've got one yellow crystal or orange crystal, one purple crystal, and so I need the last crystal to be red. So for color, they can either all be the same color or they can all be different colors, but we can't have, say, two purples and one orange. Um, something like that doesn't work. Um, and all of these possibilities are on your key card here. Where you've got, um, they can either all be the same color and the same shape, they can all be the same color and a different shape, um, they can all be a different color and the same shape, or they can all be different color and all be different shapes. Um, if you've ever played set, this is definitely inspired by that. Um, it's got a very similar uh, idea behind the set collection. So, um, as to this card, I can't play it here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start a new set over here. So now what I'm looking for to complete this one would be a triple purple. Okay, so as it turns out, um, a treasure card has come up. We've got nine treasure cards in the deck, and um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about, more about that in a second. I want to go ahead and show you how to make a crystal set. So, as you can see, I got my double red crystal that I needed to complete this set. Uh, single orange, double red, and triple purple. So now what I do is I just look at this set here, and I'm um, creating sort of a square with the three, and then there's an orb as part of that square, and so that's the dark blue orb for the seahorse. I'm going to take 
one of the gems off of the seahorse and I'm going to place it right here. So now what I've done is I've sort of activated this orb or lit it up is how I, how I like to say. Um, and if you light up both of the orbs on this treasure card, then you can collect it. The reason we want treasure um, is that the more treasure you collect, it uh, helps you with your score at the end and also certain sets of treasure will give you special bonuses. Um, in this case, this is part of the riches collection. So if I were to get uh, the other two riches, I'd be adding one extra treasure to my final score. Um, I can talk more about that in a bit. So what I want to keep do is just keep playing a little bit and um, show you how some more sets might come together. Uh, so this card here, uh, I've got another double red crystal. So what I can do is I can actually build off of this one to where I can now complete this set of double red, triple purple, and orange single. Um, and then I can place this purple there. So now what I'm doing when I'm taking a gem off of one of the creatures is that I'm actually um, starting to free it. So the goal of the first round is going to be to free all of these creatures before I run out of cards. So I'm going to want to create sets um, that will allow me to remove all of these crystals from the creatures. Um, <clears throat> there is another option here though, instead of playing like that, I can also play this card here and that'll allow me to get the yellow one. Now, right now, there's not a big difference um, between taking the purple one and taking the yellow one. However, as you play, your choices are going to narrow down a little bit. Um, like, eventually I might free the seahorse and then I wouldn't have any reason to complete a set that um, had a dark blue crystal on it. So, um, in the beginning, it doesn't matter so much, but it's something that you will want to pay attention to later. So it's good to know that there are multiple options there, so I could do the purple or the yellow. I'm just going to leave that like it is, and I'm going to continue playing. So there's another way I can build off of this, which is kind of cool. So now I've created a set here with one, two, and three. And I can place a red gem right there. And I've also completed a set here with one, two, three, and that means I can place the purple there. Now, I didn't really plan for that, but that's something that um, you certainly can try to achieve is these uh, larger crystal clusters like that that will allow you to um, get more gems for your buck. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Um, and I'm just gonna start placing cards and I'll kind of tell you what I'm up to as I go. Um, so there I've completed a set here with all the three, the same color and all the same number. Um, they're all triple orange. So I can remove another one from this berry. And so now I've collected this piece of treasure. And uh, the more of those I can collect, the better. But um, obviously the main goal is to complete this phase by freeing all the creatures so that I can move on to the dragon round. 